Thank you very much, you guys, for taking the time. I know it's busy. You've got lots of games going on and, of course, the photo shoot next door and all of that. But um, I want to talk a little bit about your team because, obviously, uh, the team went very well. When Nina was skipping, you're throwing third and the front end, of course, with Becca. Um, but then, of course, Nina's having a little one. And so you take over the tee head and, bang, all of a sudden, win nationals and, and go, everything's going really, really well. Nina comes back fits into third position, I think, really well. Mm -hmm. And you get bronze at the Worlds, win the Autumn Gold a couple of weeks ago. Um, I guess I'd like to hear your thoughts, Tabitha, on moving positions and the comfort level of you at Skip. And then your thoughts on Nina actually seamlessly, to me, fitting into third position. Yeah, I, I agree with all of that. So Nina um, stepped away for a season because she was pregnant with her child. And so the timing of it was she was due in February and that's right during our nationals. So we were like, okay, I, Nina won't be at nationals. So we kind of had to just figure out early on, like in July and August is when we made the decision before then about what we were going to do. And we decided to kind of move everybody up the lineup that made me skip and just do it right from the get-go so that we could get the most practice in that lineup. Um, and yeah, we had some success with it. And then when she came back, we kind of had a, a long discussion as well with every member of the team and the coaches and what we thought was best going forward and who would play where. And this is the lineup that we landed on. And it's it's been great. I think she loves being third. Um, I like being skip as well. So it kind of just works out. Had you ever skipped before? No. <laughs> in true? league, in league. Like, I think I said that, you know, on air, and I, I wasn't league. actually sure. I hadn't checked with you, and, and uh, but I thought that was the truth, so, you know, close enough to the truth, might as well say it. Yeah. But, but, uh, but it seemed, and I said it right away, that, that maybe you should have, uh, like, you know, back <laughs> from when you were kids. Um, but I guess that's kind of funny to, to step into a new position and show that kind of comfort. Becky, your thoughts on on how easy it was for Tabitha? Because it's not, I, in my opinion, it's not easy to, to move a position when you haven't played it. And sure. it seems seamless. Becky. Yeah, definitely. Um, like Tab was saying, all of us have played together for so long that when she moved up there, it felt like a seamless change because, I mean, I've played second, I've played lead, I played third when Nina was out. Um and Tab just has this, uh, I guess, I don't even know what to say. Like, the thing about her where she just doesn't get, like, uptight and nervous. She just, a draw to the button's a draw to the button, or a double hit for the win is a double hit for the win. So um, I think that level of comfort uh, moves down the team as well. So all of us kind of have a nice little ease out there, and the tension's not super high ever. So it's, it's good. I want to talk about, uh, obviously, Olympic year. And... Uh, You've got the mixed doubles trials coming up pretty soon and in, uh, in Eveleth and then uh, in Alma, Omaha, the men's and women's trials. And Becca, uh, of course, you played in both last time. Yes. Would you consider doing that again, uh, playing in mixed doubles? <laughs> well, it's quite, I, I think it's quite yeah. possible. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, your thoughts on that? Because, um, of course, I followed you and Matt through that whole thing uh, <laughs> last time. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, I mean, I enjoyed playing with my brother. Um, I think that we have a good dynamic out on the ice. We know each other very well. So it's, it's easy to, I guess, <laughs> be honest with each other. And that helps us, I guess, fix what's going uh, wrong right away. So I would consider doing both, um, just for the experience of it. And I felt I was prepared more when I moved into women's. I knew how the ice was. I knew the weights and things I needed to throw. So you know, I'd like to ask you about how uh, we talked about it on on the NBC telecast, of course, during the Olympics uh, last time. But how taxing it would be physically um, and mentally, both like <laughs> not not just one way, because it's a uh, what? How many days in a row did you curl? Eighteen or two? Believe so. so oh. Something like that, or yeah, or Tabitha. You have, I don't know. A lot. I mean, the women's <laughs> was, was a lot. It was a lot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I guess yeah. I'd just like to hear your thoughts on 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 the, you and Matt both played uh, all the, uh, every day. Double duty. Yeah, double yeah, duty double for the duty. whole time. Yeah. We talked about it after the fact as well, asking if either of us felt drained when we got to our uh, respective men's and women's teams, and and we thought that we were even more prepared. And he even said he played better <laughs> with his men's team. So. Thank them for that. Well, obviously they played. <laughs> obviously they played pretty good. They, they, they yeah. finished pretty well. So yeah. yeah, we can't really say that. Um, I was going to talk about um, 
in Omaha, the men's and women's trials, but let's start with uh, Eveleth because you're playing with Joe Polo, I believe, mm-hmm. in that event. And of course, back a year with Matt and Eileen, she's still your fifth, right? Yes. Yep. So she's in the event too with yeah. Luke uh, Violet. So, wow. Um, there's not that many teams in the event. So like it's, it's a pretty good chance um, you guys might mm-hmm. be pulling double duty. Mm-hmm. And uh, Tabitha, and that's, that's okay too from the... Doesn't yeah, matter. I mean, I think that anybody, if it happens to anybody, they would probably take it and just do it, right? Like it's, I mean, we're mentally preparing for it now. And if it happens, you know, we're ready. And there are goods that can come with it in terms of getting more ice time and all of that. Um, and it's like two chances at a medal. So, I mean, there's a lot of positives. Yeah, the gold's the same, right? When you bite into it, it doesn't matter which, uh, which medal so, it is. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's really interesting to me because uh, it'd be hard. Yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but but what the heck, right? What the heck? If you get a chance to to it's even do it, harder watching your team go do fun things before <laughs> while I'm still crawling with my brother. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about the rule changes. There, it's a big deal. Uh, not, I shouldn't say rule changes. The potential mm-hmm. rule changes at the World Championships, uh, and your thoughts. We'll, we'll ask both of you. Um, the no, let's start one one at a time. The no tick zone, Tabitha. Um, I could go either way on that one. I think people have gotten very, very good at the tick. And so it's almost like a, if you're up a couple in the last end and you're just ticking, like it's an automatic win in most cases, right? You still have to make your shots. But so, yeah, I mean, at this event, they're experimenting a little bit with if it's on the center line, you can't move it. And yeah, I mean, I like exper- experimenting with it for sure. Um, so I could go either way on that one. Becca? I agree with that. Um, especially, I mean, the tick rule came out, or we started using ticks more when it went to a five rock rule. So um, it's kind of interesting now that we all kind of picked up playing with the ticks, and now they're changing it back to <laughs> no ticks. So I think it's kind of interesting. I mean, the game's ever-changing, right? So um I'll take it, whatever. Yeah. I think that's a great point. The yeah. game is ever changing. Yeah. All sports are ever changing. Mm-hmm. And uh, like you say, it's not, it's not for sure. Mm-hmm. It's a test case. Mm-hmm. And even this week in the last end or extra ends, right? Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. have you had the situation yet here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we had two eighth ends where we had hammer. So we would have liked to tick the center guards and we could not. So, right, so you go yeah. f- what do you do with your first? We came around. Come around with both. The middle. Yeah. Yep. And just make it yep. very difficult on them. Yeah. Yeah. And how were your last shots? Difficult um, or not bad? No, uh, she made a peel and they kind of ticked one over too. So it was wide open. I just wide. had to draw the forefoot. Yeah. But yeah. So it's pretty standard in the yeah. end. Yeah. That's yeah. going to be interesting uh, watching this week, commentating and, and watching the situations yeah. and see how it unfolds. Yeah. And what people yeah. do when they can't tick. All right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's mm-hmm. going to be really exciting. Mm-hmm. Um, Four minute thinking time per end. Skipper. I don't like that one. <laughs> uh, why? Like, um, let so me know we from, did from experiment with it um, at the World Cups when they had those. That's the timing system that they used a few years back. And it, I felt like, and I was playing third at that time, I felt like it put a lot of pressure on the skips rocks. Um, sometimes you waste all your time early in the end. And then all of a sudden you have no time to talk about very important skip shots. And so I didn't, I just don't, I just feel like the skip is too rushed and you'd be rushed every single end potentially versus having a long discussion, but then you can play a quick end and bank your time a little bit more. Becca, from the front enders point of view. I agree with that. I mean, um, we didn't use it at the world cup when we were in shooting and I, I think that it was stressful, like Tab said. There's some ends where you're playing hits the whole time, you know, so you have two and a half minutes rolling nowhere, <laughs> and then you get to the next end, and it, there's a lot of rocks in play, and you want to talk about it. And I realize they're doing it for TV and for people that want to watch. So, um, yeah, I, I think I could live without that rule. <laughs> you, you, made, you made a really good point with um, you play a fast end for whatever reason. Yeah. Somebody... Somebody's guard slips into the rings. Bing, 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 mm-hmm. bing. And you've got three minutes left out of the four, yeah. but it's gone. Right. Yeah. Forever. <laughs> right. And it, it was their mistake. Like they slid in the low. It's not you, mm-hmm. but yeah. you've lost that three minutes yeah. as well. So that's yeah. a good point. Nobody has brought that up. I think yeah. that's an excellent point. Mm-hmm. Uh, Becca, no extra ends. No so oh, I'll go a little further than that. So not just no extra ends, but instead of just a win and a loss, you've got a chance of getting three points yeah. with a clean win. Two points with a draw to the button after the tie 
uh, if you win it, one point if you lose the draw of the button, and then a straight zero if you were to lose the game outright. So kind of a two-prong question of uh, your thoughts on the no extra ends. I th- believe that was another rule we practiced at the World Cup a c- couple years ago. Um, I'm 50-50 on that because, I mean, if I'm down at, or I need to steal in the extra end, my chances of stealing are a lot less. So I'm... I'm okay with it, I think. I mean, if you're down, if you're down but now I'll reverse roles if we're up. I mean, <laughs> I don't know how I feel. Right. So I guess I'm 50-50. Okay. But do you know what I'm saying? Like, if you are down, you're going to have a better chance drawing the button than you are stealing a point in extras without. Well, especially if you're down, because likely in the in the 10th end or in the 8th end, depending on the length of the yeah. game, if you're down, you're probably throwing lots of guards and draws. Yeah. And now all of a sudden you, <laughs> yeah. oh, Bonanza. Yeah. Yeah. We just got to score one point, not but, two. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I think I am not in favor of that one. Um, I think an extra end, it's, I think, the better way to determine the winner. And it's only 15 more minutes. So let's just do it. <laughs> well, good Four <point>. more minutes. <laughs> Four. Of thinking time. Yeah. 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 